Hello, I'm Channel 14 here. I'm in my room. Not done yet, but as you can see, I hooked up a new computer in my room. Hold on, I have to angle it correctly. It's a Dell Dimension 43000. 4300, I mean. And whenever I, I try to start it, this error message happens hold on oh boy um i'll have to put this down that happens Ooh. the computer hasn't been used in like a long time so yeah i have no I Ooh, have no idea what's going on here i'll even i'll hit r I know I don't have the um disk to fix it, so see I'll reset it. It'll do its little own thing. Make weird sounds in the modem or the tower thing, whatever it's called, I don't know. And it'll do this for a while. screen will stay blank and then it'll do this now it says windows cannot start because the following file is missing or corrupt then it'll say windows slash systems 32 slash configuration without the duration and slash system it says you can attempt to repair this file by starting windows setup using the original setup CD-ROM. Now I don't have that. And it says select R at the first screen to start repair. Now the problem is I had this for so much of a long time that I lost the um, setup CD-ROM so yeah I don't know what's going on here. I'll even hit R hold it down I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna show you, show this to you, see what it does. It'll make some sort of sound. I'll make a whole bunch of beeps. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I mean, I looked up the disc online, and well, I can't really find one. I mean, if I was able to, I can't afford it. So I'm wondering if there's like any tricks, you know, to fix this. If anyone knows one, please let me know. So if um, you know, that only restarts it when you hold it down. I'll even hit. Oh, it's too late. Well, I I was about to hit um, set up, see what I could do, but yeah. I, try to hook this thing up and this keeps on happening only able to I was able to sign in for like a couple seconds until it finally like it restarted on its own and then it did that error message thing so yeah it's not blue screen or anything it's just a black screen so yeah if anyone knows how to fix that please let me know